Number 17 then from paper 2 of the 2019 National 5, little identities question. It just says expand and simplify but show you're working. Well, expanding that would be square the first. So that's sine, and the way you write that is sine squared, not sine of x squared, so sine times the sine. Square the last, so that will be cos squared x. And then twice the product is 2 times sine times cos. 2 sine x, oh, cos x. So that's it expanded. Now simplifying simply means you can put those two together. Sine squared and cos squared makes one. I don't know whether you have to explicitly show them tucking up together to become one, or you can just express it as one plus that now. Maybe I will put them together. Sine squared x plus cos squared x plus two sine x cos x. So that's them together there, and they just make one. One plus two sine x cos x. And I don't think it'd be penalised if you couldn't be bothered putting all the little degree signs all the way through it, as long as you get that result. Number 18 then, from paper 2 of the 2019 National 5, looks like a circles question, there's four marks here. Specifically, there's a straight line there. It's chords in a circle question, you know what to do, look for a right angle triangle. Well, what does it say? This picture represents a cartoon snowman. Well, it's not at all disturbing looking at that. This diagram represents it as the intersection of two circles. Now, you just have to pay attention to what it says. The head's a small circle, but that's its centre, and its diameter is 15. So if that's its centre, then all the lines through are diameters. So that AB as well as CT is equal to 15 centimetres. The body's a larger circle of centre T. The point T is on the circumference of the small circle, the points A and B are the points of intersection of the two circles. So what's the overall height? Well, the overall height will just be, if that's the centre of the circle, and that's also the edge of this circle, it's going to be the radius of the large one plus the diameter of the small one. So it's really just, what's this radius? What's the radius of the larger circle? Must be something to do with the chords. It's a chord question. And so even without thinking about it, you should think, as soon as you see a chord question, draw in a right angle triangle. So this would be the right angle triangle, take me that S. You form a right angle triangle by going halfway along the chord, drawing in the radius from the centre, and drawing the distance from the centre to the chord. That's the right angle triangle. And of course, that radius there is the same as this radius here. I'll just draw again here. What you've got is this. You've got the radius that you want of the larger circle. That chord is half the diameter, so that's 7.5, but it's also half the diameter this way as well. That's also 7.5. 1, 1, root 2, that's going to be root 2 times 7.5. Or you could just use Pythagoras. R squared will be 7.5 squared plus 7.5 squared. Which gives you 112.5, so the radius of the larger circle will be the square root of that, which is 10.606 and so on. So I'll just say the radius is 10.6 centimetres. Well, that means the overall height's going to be what they're looking for, CD or DC, what they're calling it, CD. CD will be the radius, which is 10.6, plus the diameter of the small circle, which is 15, so that's 25.6 centimetres.